Hello and welcome into this new series of machine learning in Python. In today's video, we are going to create a simple application where you're going to learn how to visualize any company's stock price using Dash framework. Usually in data visualization, we use matplotlib library, but in this video, I will be using Dash framework. Dash is a productive Python framework for building web applications using only Python, no HTML, no CSS or JavaScript. Dash is built on top of plotly.js, which is a standalone JavaScript data visualization library. And it also powers Python module called plotly.py. It's also built on top of React, which is the most famous JS framework for the front end and Flask. And I will leave the link to the project documentation in the description section below. You will need Flask installed on your local machine. So if you don't have it, you can install it via pip install Flask. And if you doubt whether you have it or not, then go to your terminal and type pip freeze, like so. To display all the installed modules and libraries, we will need also to install a couple of third party libraries, pandas underscore data reader and dash. After we have installed pandas underscore data reader and dash, now we will need to import these libraries into our program. So the first thing that I'm going to import is pandas underscore data reader. dot data and we'll give it an alias we'll call it web and pandas underscore data reader contains tools for collecting data from various remote sources the second library that we're going to import is dash and as we said dash is a python framework for building web apps using python only with no html css or javascript Also, we'll have something called dash core components and the dash core components library generates higher level components like controls and graphs, which is very important in our program. And we'll give it an alias, we'll call it DCC. Next, we will need to import dash HTML components and the dash HTML components library provides classes for all of the HTML tags and the keyword arguments. And we'll give it an alias. We'll call it simply HTML. Next, we will import the input and output from the dash dependencies. And the last built-in library that we will need is the date time module, and it supplies classes for manipulating dates and times. Now let me explain something very important about dash apps. The dash apps are composed of two parts. The first part is the layout of the app and it describes what the application looks like. And the second part describes the interactivity of the application with the user. Now let's go ahead and start by creating the layout. So let me type here first, the layout. Now let's go ahead and create our app, which will be equal to dash module dot dash class. Next, I want to give our app a title. So we'll say app dot title. We'll give it the title of stock visualization. Next, I want to give the app a layout using the HTML, which is the dash HTML components library dot the special method called div, which is basically the div inside the HTML page and we will have children 
and these children will be equal to a list and inside that list we'll have different components so the first thing that we will have is html.h1 a header we will say stock visualization dashboard so we'll give the page a header called stock visualization dashboard next I want h4 header saying please enter the stock name then I want the input so the DCC which is the dash core components dot input and this is basically the box where you're going to type the name of the company stock that you're interested in so we'll give it an ID and the ID is a unique identifier for the input so we'll call it input value will be equal to empty string which means empty ready for you to type in and the type will be equal to text the last thing we need to do is we need to display the result or display the graph so this is html.dev again with an id and we will call that id output dash graph like so so we are done with the layout it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward next thing we need to do is we need to create the interactivity so let me put another comment here now we need to write a decorator dot callback function by writing this decorator we are telling dash to call this function callback whenever the value of the input component which will be the text box whenever this input changes in order to update the children of the output component on the page so whenever you will type the name of the company the graph will change accordingly so the callback method has two things inside it the output and the input and the output and the input both they have two attributes the component ID and the component property so let's go ahead and type that the first thing that we need to write here is the output with O capital and if you will hover over output you will see that it has component ID and component property and this is the output of a callback and the component ID is simply what we have set here the output graph so the output has first parameter of component ID which will be equal to output graph and the second parameter is component property which will be equal to children which is basically all of that next we have the input and it's in a form of a list and the input also has component ID which will be equal to input which is right here and component property which is equal value which is empty string okay great now we want to create a function which updates the value of the output depending on what stock name you type in we will call that function update value and it has one parameter only which is the input data which is the name of the company that you're going to type in and now we want to read the stock prices from January the 1st 2010 up until today's date so we will have two variables the first we'll call it start will be equal to date time dot date time and inside here we will have the year which is 2010 then the month which is January then the first day of the year 
the next variable we'll call it end also will be equal to datetime dot datetime dot now so we will have the starting date and the ending date cool now we want to create data frame and we want to read the stock data from Yahoo's finance API from start to end in order to do that we will create another variable we'll call it data frame or df for short and this will be equal to web which is the pandas data reader dot method data reader and inside here the r is capital and inside here we will pass in the input data the api which is yahoo start and end the last thing that we need to do is we want to return the graph so we will come here and we'll say return the dcc or the dash core components dot graph with a g capital and inside the graph method we'll have different parameters the id we'll call it just demo the figure which will be equal to a dictionary and this dictionary will have a set of key value pairs so the first key is data and it has um, a value of a list inside that list we will have another dictionary with the x axis which will be set to the data frame dot the index the y axis which will be set to the data frame dot close then we want the type of the graph to be line then i want the name to be whatever name you enter which will be the ticker so input data next we want to have the layout so the layout will be set to a dictionary with a title of whatever the input data is okay we are done with our program the last thing that we need to do is we need to run the server so we'll say if name equal to main app dot run server and we will set the debug mode to true so we don't have to restart the server every time we update the script itself so this is it this is our program to visualize the stock price from 2010 up until today for any company you are interested in just be careful that d i made a typo d is a small d and components here is without an e all right let's open our terminal and let's run the server okay great as you can see that the application is running on this ip 127.0.0.1 and on that port 8050 and there you go this is our application and if you will take a look above here you will find my react developer tools which is activated this proves that indeed dash is built on the top of react plus flask and plotly.js all right let's go ahead and type the name of our company for example let's go ahead and type Microsoft so it has a ticker of MSFT well this is amazing um, you can see that the price in January 2010 was $30 and it was subjected to different ups and downs as usual and today the stock price of Microsoft is equal to $204 let's check Apple AAPL and you can check all these on Google I mean the ticker names fascinating this was seven dollars in january 2010 and today the price is 115 dollars 
Let's check Tesla, for example. Wow, this is superb. Tesla started with $3 probably in July. And today's stock price is equal to $400, almost $50. This is fantastic. So you can see this is our stock visualization dashboard using the Dash framework, which is very useful for data visualization. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos.